peace and dynamic blessings to you. I am Michael Bernard Beckwith. I'm the founder of the Agape International Spiritual Center and the author of Spiritual Liberation, Life Visioning, and a number of other books. It's been my joy uh, to walk on this journey with a being by the name of Susie Lula. Powerful teacher, great colleague, wonderful, wonderful spiritual practitioner. She's a part of what is called the Motherhood Evolution. As a matter of fact, that's the name of her book. And in this book, she embraces spiritual principles that allows mothers, those who wear the hood of mother, to thrive, to live a life that is enhanced with great possibility, rather than the old concept of self-sacrifice, suffering, and burnout through doing. She teaches mothers how to embrace a state of being while raising their child so that there is an infusion of love, an infusion of a dynamic peace, an infusion of caretaking, but without the disintegration that sometimes comes with the old concept of, of an individual just sacrificing themselves. It's, it's indeed a real evolution in the consciousness of mothering. And if you are a mother, if you do wear the hood of mother, you want to take the opportunity to meet Susie Lula. You want to take the opportunity to meet her work. You want to take an opportunity to read the book and to practice the principles. For if you're raising a child, you have a very, very precious being under your vibration. And you want to take care of yourself. You want to make sure that there's self-care so that your tank is full as you embrace the, the great possibility, the great gift that you've been given to raise another being. The motherhood evolution takes you right there with the help of Susie Lula. You're not going to regret it. Peace and blessings to you. دوستان به برنامه مام تاک مادر و کودک خوش آمدید. در ابتدای برنامه با عرض تسلیت به خاندان به صلاح آتش نشانان و آنانی که در به صلاح حادثه بسیار تأصف انگیز در ساختمان پلاسکو و آتش سوزی پلاسکو جانشون رو از دست دادن یا با از دست دادن جان عزیزشون روبرو هستند و ملت ایران و کسانی که در این قم همگی سهیم هستیم و با به صلاح همدردی همدلی در این اوقات هر فرصتی که پیش میاد واقعا توجهمون رو میتونیم بذاریم روی اون نکات مهمی که در این دوران سخت زندگی برای شما خانوادگان در ایران و چه در این سوی ایران میتونین اتحاد بیشتر و یا هم بستگی و شاید تسلیت به جامعه بیارین و امروز توجه این برنامه بر اساس به صلاح چارچوب معنویات خواهد بود و اون چیزی رو که بهش سلف کیر و یا سلف کامپشن میتونیم نامش رو بذاریم و توصیه کسانی مثل خانم سوزی لولا که در اصل پیش کسفت هستن از کسانی هستن که در این مسیح سالیان دراز هستش که فعالیت میکنن و کارشون توجهشون روی این هستش که چگونه به صلاح آسیب رو یا صدمه رو در دیگران در آنانی که آسیب زده و صدمه دیده هستند پایین بیارند و ارتقاء اون معنویات و اون به صلاح توجه حضور ذهن بر اساس چارچوب معنویات و شاید spirituality ایشون spiritual guide هستند یعنی کسی هستند که در چارچوب معنویات و شاید در چارچوب به صلاح اون بود روحانی افراد رو کمک می کنند و هیچ فرقی هم نداره از چه مذهبی یا چه 
به صلاح دینی اون فرد باشه ایشون spiritual leader یا کانسلر در اصل بودند برای کسانی که مذهب شاید دین اسلام داشتند یا کریسچین بودند و یا یهودی کلیمی بودند و یا بهایی بودند و در آگاپ انٹرنیشنل سنتر جایی که فعالیت می کنند و ویدیویی رو که توجه کردین ایشون سالیان دراز هستش که فعالیت می کنند و توجهشون روی صلح و پرورش و آموزش صلح در دل مادران هستش و امروز فکر کردم شاید خیلی به جا باشه که برای کاهش دلسوزی و یا اون آسیبی رو که امروزه شاید خیلی از شما خانوادگان خانوادگان به صلاح جان سوز و یا آن آنانی که در این به صلاح فاجعه در ایران روبرو هستیند شاید بشه با صحبتهای ایشون کمی اون دلسوزی رو کاهش داد و برای شما بیشتر صلح بیاریم امروز خانم سوزی لولا سوزی it's such a pleasure to have you on mom talk well Um, once again, it's a, it's a very emotional um, conversation that we uh, will have today, but one that is very meaningful, very important, and very deep to many who um, are face-to-face, -face, you know, suffering right now because of the, the fire um, uh, in Tehran. Um, um, and I know that as a spiritual guide and counselor, Uh, your focus has always been on compassion and self-compassion. So tell us about why the motherhood evolution, why is this so essential for today's living? Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so grateful to be here and my heart is so open and full of compassion is the perfect word because that's what I'm feeling for all of the individuals and families that are affected. And I think that when something like this happens, all of our hearts open so easily and it's such a reminder to us that it's so important for us to learn to have the compassion. It's easy to have the compassion for others often, but especially as moms, it's sometimes easy to forget ourselves, you yeah. know, and the compassion that we could take the time to, to place upon ourselves. Yeah. yeah, I can relate to this so much myself because when I um, lost my dad, mm -hmm. it was uh, a similar experience. So losing a beloved, losing yes. someone um, that you're so close to, my, my, my dad, my father, it was um, such a deep, significant um, sort of uh, it almost felt like a part of my soul was detached yes. and so in that moment in the darkness of um, just lo loss grief uh, I found self-compassion especially friends who were great reminders mm -hmm. of that mm -hmm. very very healing You know, I remember uh, talking to you, yeah. and um, it was really profound. I remember just those words were um, yeah. just really uh, connecting to my soul and heart and helped me see the loss or this um, evolution in life, you know, living uh, in a very different light. Yeah, and I think what you're saying is so profound because often, We don't necessarily remember exactly what someone said to us, mm -hmm. but we always remember the feeling with which they shared with us. Beautiful. Right? That's And right. so this is the quality of compassion. Mm -hmm. It's a quality that transcends the actual words. That's why even language, mm -hmm. you know, I can have such compassion for an individual or a group of individuals that I don't even speak their language mm -hmm. and we couldn't even understand each other in words, but you would absolutely feel that open heart that quality of compassion is undeniable because it's an energy that transcends even language and culture, you know, and yeah. society. Yeah, 
Beautiful. دوستان در رابطه با شفقت و کامپشن صحبت می کنیم و اینکه اهمیت شفقت و به خصوص شفقت نسبت به خود نسبت به من مادر چقدر می تونه در این دوران سخت برای شما مفید باشه و کمک بکنه که در این پروسه به صلاح التیام و پروسه اینکه به دلتون برسین به کودکانتون برسین به خانواده برسین برای خیلی از شما میدونم که این داغ بزرگی هستش و خیلی سخت هستش و من میتونم با شما هم درد هستم چون موقعی که پدرم رو از دست دادم یک همچین احساسی رو تجربه کردم و در این دوران سخت هستش که شما با صحبت با کسانی که شما رو میتونن یادآوری بکنن که چقدر مهم در رابطه با شفقت و با هم بودن همدلی همدردی همحسی نه تنها با دوستانتون با خانواده با فامیل بلکه با خودتون با خودتون که به خصوص مادران خانم سوزی لولا توجهشون در رابطه با کتاب بسیار مفیدشون که خیلی توصیه میکنم The Motherhood Evolution و میتونین از طریق وبسایتشون این کتاب رو دریافت بکنین با ایشون در تماس باشین همونطور که گفتم ایشون Spiritual Council هستند و کسی هستند که سالیان سال هستش طولانی در رابطه با کمک به مادران به خصوص از انترست و پشن و توجه به خصوصی هستش که ایشون دارن مادران رو خیلی دوست دارن کمک بکنن در این راه چرا که بر این باور هستن که اگر مادران رو ما کمک بکنیم که دلشون آروم تر باشه دلشون پر از صلح و صفا و آرامش بیشتری باشه داریم خانواده رو کمک می کنیم و بعد در ابتدا جامعه رو um, tell us about the motherhood evolution why uh, now why um, did you decide to do this what was the driving force behind this book well uh, I will say two things but one I will just continue even with what we were speaking of before this mm -hmm. you know fire the the what is going on right now mm -hmm. and the families that are affected and then when you take that that's a community yeah. right but when I think about it in my own family or with any of us mm -hmm. as mothers uh, well two things one is I I've been a mom for 14 years now I have a 14 year old son so I was a spiritual teacher long before I was a mother and I've been on a self-growth path um, for far longer than I've been a mother. Mm -hmm. And so I think that I thought when I became a mother that I was going to be better at it than I was and that it was going to be easier mm -hmm. than it was. Mm -hmm. And so to, what I learned early on was about this quality of compassion and connection that we we're speaking of. And the way that when I would be with my son, I would recognize that it was much less the words that I was saying to him and much more the energy with which I said them. Mm -hmm. So I could say to him, we need to leave now. It's time to brush your teeth. We have to, you know, tie your shoes now. We have to, you know, whatever it was. I can say the same thing, but depending on the place inside of myself I was, this would come across in many, many different ways to him. And so the energy underneath which, which I was speaking to him mm -hmm became so important to me and I began to explore this and become very curious and inquire about this because I learned and I learned that then the less I took care of myself the more impatient I was the more I needed him to do such and such quickly the more that I took time for myself which seemed so counterintuitive it seemed um, selfish how could I go take care of myself? But I noticed over and over and over again, when I did, the way that I came to my son was completely different and our connection remained intact regardless of whether he wanted to do what I needed him to do or how we navigated it because the connection and that connection is my highest priority. And I think for most parents, the connection to our children, I know that it is 
the connection from us that they are seeking the most. Exactly, you know? exactly. You nailed it. And I, I think that's such a profound point for um, many of moms. Uh, I know many of you who are listening to Susie. Um, I know there is this voice. It's almost like the, this uh, dual conversation about, yes. well, but I don't really have time. Yes. And it, so the self-care that Susie Lilla is talking about in this evolutionary process of motherhood is not about pampering yourself. It's not about um, getting your hair done and getting your nails done and going to the gym. It's not about that. Maybe it is, but, and the focus is the connection that we have to our soul, to our self, to our inner core. So if you are aware and conscious of this connection and you're able to stay conscious and keep that connection full, then you will be much more present and you will have much better quality connections outside of you. It's almost this peace learning experience from the inside out. And so when you feel you are losing that connection. Um, it's really important. You know, I know I do it several times a day. I check in and I try to just almost step, have an out, out of body experience. Exactly. You know, uh, how, how am I doing? I, I have to be very aware and ask myself. And I have to say, um, during the day, several times I lose consciousness. Mm -hmm. And it's just based on um, the speed of light. It's based on the speed of life. It's based on the the conflicts and the tension and the stress we yes. experience and absorb uh, relationships. Yes. And so um, you're right on that every time in that evolutionary process that I am able to catch myself in during that uh, regressional cycle, you know that I can be present and feel that, okay, th so through this uh, suffering, through this challenge, there's growth, you know? I, I, I'm connected to that growth, I'm one with that growth, and I'm able to stay connected within, that then I can share that evolution, that motherhood evolution with the people around me, that I connect much more fully. Exactly. And you um, are on a mission to unite mothers all over the world. This is your dream. This is my mission, this, this is my is passion, mission. this is my everything. Because I think of moms, you know, in Iran, moms here in the States, moms in Brazil, moms in Australia, moms in France. We're all longing for and seeking the same thing, which is a deeper connection with our children. And what I've learned is that you know, when we're pregnant or when you're adopting a child, there's something otherworldly that happens. There's something transcendent that happens about meeting your child for the first time. Or you can think about watching your child when they're sleeping peacefully. There's some connection mm -hmm. that is undeniable that we've all felt and experienced as mothers. And yet, as you were saying earlier, we get so mired in the doing because so much is coming at us. And I know you have three children. I only have one, so my husband travels, so that's my, you know, but I, you have three children, so that's three sets of activities. This is schoolwork, homework, relationships. You know, there's so much coming at us. And mm -hmm. so what I find is that this connection to our own spirit, not only our children's, but our own spirit is often severed when I speak with moms mm -hmm. and I work with moms, you know, all over the world. And this is the common thing that happens is that we feel disconnected, we feel isolated. We're in the world of our children, but inside of ourselves, we're feeling disconnected. So, I'm imagining a mom in Brazil, a mom in Australia, moms in you know Germany and England, all over the planet. When you think of the power that we have, I call it, I say that moms have the untapped spiritual powerhouse of the planet, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. We have this spiritual power and no one has really yet shined the light on us. We're undervalued. We're, you know, we're just doing what we're doing, you know, with many expectations and not really being noticed. So I really want to place the spotlight on the spiritual power that can happen when we connect. Yeah, yeah, and I am um, 
I join you in this connection because I believe that the peace learning from the inside out happens right at the core, the heart of a mother. It happens at the soul of a mother yes. and the motherhood journey and, and uh, fathering the fatherhood yeah. and uh, parental journey together with the child. And so if we as um, citizens of the world are able to really shift our attention and get connected to that inner core, that inner passion, compassion, self-compassion for peace and peace learning, imagine what can happen. This circle of unity where mothers who are like-minded and fathers who are like-minded with their children and families are able to join and understand and know. So it's beyond understanding, it's the knowledge, right? The wisdom deep within one's heart and soul that um, inner peace is, um, is, um, is really uh, achievable, right? Absolutely. It's, it's achievable. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think as you were speaking, I hear this often, mm -hmm. you know, we have not enough time, not mm -hmm. enough hours in a day. Right. And another thing that seems to get in our way often are large emotions. So I'm thinking back to the fire and mm -hmm. what so many individuals are going through right now. And sometimes our emotions can be so intense and they can feel so large. And even when we have are operating on an empty tank as a mother, something as simple as needing our child to get to bed on time or brushing their teeth, something seemingly so simple turns out to be a very emotionally charged yeah. interaction. Mm -hmm. And then you have conflict. And so what you're speaking about, the peace learning mm -hmm. process from the inside out, mm -hmm. and I can have a huge conflict with a my six-year-old just over brushing their teeth mm -hmm. because we aren't really taught, and I call it in my book, emotional self-care. Mm -hmm. We aren't really taught mm -hmm. how to deal with our own frustrations, our own intense emotions, so much of what comes up within us on the motherhood journey that it's so easy to end up projecting that onto our children, which is the last thing we're seeking to do. Mm -hmm. But we haven't really learned, as you're speaking, mm -hmm. about this process from the inside out. Yeah. And so a good yeah. portion of the book is about emotional self-care. That is you know? so profound. And, and um, I think this is the first time that I'm hearing this through a spiritual lens, a scope mm -hmm. that is spiritual. I've studied it, I've learned it in the scientific scope, you know, in the scientific field of cognitive affective theories and self-regulation and all yes. that. This is a different way to see how emotional regulation, as you know, scientists call it, <laughs> um, is very much connected to Susie Lula's concept of self-care, self-compassion. So if you can um, elevate that peace learning awareness and become aware of why by paying attention and being aware and connected to this self-care which is emotional this emotional self-care you can um, gift your children and yourself a more peaceful journey in life so you're literally taking steps towards a peaceful life by doing this simple it's not so simple yeah but it takes awareness simple but not easy simple but not easy yes. um, uh, and I know as moms we fall you know I fall several times a day flat on my face I have to say it I've said it before okay. it is so uh, it's the toughest job I've ever had Bar none. <laughs> right humbling it's very humbling very humbling um, and yet I always I, I don't use that word often, but I really, really try my best intention to really have an open heart and soul in this motherhood evolution and journey. So when I fall, I try to be aware of the fall and what I'm learning from that fall. And I engage um, my kids. I ask them because I honestly believe, I'm convinced now, Susie, that they're more conscious and more aware than us, or at least in my family. Absol absolutely. They are so wise. They, I mean, wisdom, speaking of wisdom, their hearts and soul, they're just connected to the source. Absolutely. Yeah. And this is yeah. why I love what you're speaking of. Mm -hmm. 
um, looking at this through a spiritual lens. Yeah. Because when you think of it, when your child is born, when they first come into the world, when any child, when I, when you, when any mom watching right now came into the world, we are more connected to this greater world, to this transcendent world, to this realm from which we came. And when you think of any child, they're so connected to the world that's beyond the world. Mm -hmm. And so what is so powerful about what you're speaking of is that by watching our children, we can reconnect to this world that we all know, but we as adults have gotten conditioned away from it and we've gotten trained away from it. And our children are still much more connected to the world of compassion, the world of joy, the world of creativity, the world of inspiration, the world of freedom, the world of joy, yeah. uninhibited, you yeah. know? Yeah. And so the book is really, uh, many, many mothers would agree, yes, I want to be connected to that greater place. How do I do that in the middle mm -hmm. of needing to fix dinner and get them to gymnastics and karate mm -hmm. and make sure the homework's done? And so this is, I call it an art mm -hmm. and a practice, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. There is a remembering that your child, my child, myself, we were each and all born into and connected to a world that transcends this world. So the, the more that we can practice staying connected to that world, then we bring that world mm. into the doing of the dishes, the making of the dinner. The, when I'm speaking to my son and I need him to get to his homework, yes, those tasks will never leave us as parents, but the way that we come to the task will be a completely different parent, depending on where we're connected to, you know? Um, yeah, <laughs> you've heard it. <laughs> Spiritual guru and awesome Susie Lula. I'm, I'm just sitting here just with this vibration. I wish you were here. Mm. <laughs> this vibration is incredible, Susie. Mm -hmm. You, Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I always, I'm curious in these interviews mm -hmm. because um, I feel like there is a physical uh, sense to this, mm -hmm. but there is also a very strong spiritual mm -hmm. and um, uh, just of a different dimension sense to it. Mm -hmm. And just being with you here just mm -hmm. is a reminder of the beauty of that and your beauty mm -hmm. and the light that you uh, emanate and you bring into this world. It really is amazing. So I hope that if you're watching, um, I hope that if you're watching, 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 if uh, in um, motherhood evolution, ba un bod bishtar besela roshd bokonin va ertegay agahi dashte boshin. Kitab Suzy Lolar betun tosiye mikonam the motherhood evolution, how thriving mothers raise thriving children. Va in logat thriving besiar besiar muhme be khusus dar charchube roshd va ravan shenasi be khater inke midunim ke vakti ke shoma kudaki darin ya khanevade darin ya madari darin ke در حال رشد هستش این مسیر به سوی پرورش صلح و آن چه که آرامش و به صلاح یک زندگی خوب و شاد هستش برای فرد میاره و معمولا اون کسانی که دیگه امید رو از دست میدن و در این مسیر رشد سعی نمی کنن همیشه آنان هستند که می بایست ما بهشون توجه بکنیم بنابراین اگر دوستی هستین خانواده ای هستین که خانواده ای رو میشناسین که عزیزشون رو در این حادثه حادثه به اصطلاح ناگوار از دست دادن خانواده آتش نشانان و به اصطلاح اون قهرمانانی که در این راه جانشون رو از دست دادن خیلی مهم هستش که 
در این دوران در این طول ایام با اونها کنکت بکنین رابطه داشته باشین اونجا باشین براشون و از این بود معنوی و روحانی بتونین اونها رو کمک بکنین که در این مسیر سخت دوران سخت واقعا تنها نباشن I think um, the connection is uh, such a good recommendation and reminder mm-hmm. that through pain and suffering uh, many times it's just a hug it's just yes. you know just a phone call just picking up the phone and calling your friend and just saying you know I am here for you um, I, I remember you know in, in the times when I was uh, going through loss and uh, grieving that really I, I just I really appreciated getting yes. a, a simple call or a hug or just um, those simple gestures of kindness and um, meaningful connection yes uh, really help help helps I think us human beings who are going through pain and suffering so so if someone is watching and they like to reach out to you and make that call and connect with you um, is the best way to reach you via your website yeah my website is suzylula.com mm-hmm. and On my website, you can download chapter one Wonderful. of the book for free. So it will give you a taste of the book. And the chapter is called From Self-Sacrifice mm-hmm. to Self-Care. Wonderful. So, yeah, you can. And it's already a um, uh, best-selling best sell- list. Is. Uh, yeah, it that's is. wonderful. So Congratulations. Thank Congratulations. You. That's wonderful. Um, uh, so, uh, yes. Um, طریقی که میتونین با خانم سوزی لولا تماس داشته باشین از طریق امازون هستش کتاب ایشون رو میتونین از امازون دریافت بکنین ایشون به صلاح یکی از نویسندگان بسیار خوب روی این به صلاح کتابشون در رابطه با motherhood evolution هستند مطالب ایشون رو میتونین دریافت بکنین Uh, uh, I know you're also uh, very active on social media, so yeah. you have a presence. If you want to join us on social media, I know that many of you are a lot of young You know, the young generation, especially in Iran, uh, they're into social media so much and connecting via social media, so that's always a great tool to connect. So get on social media, find Suzy Lilla. Uh, where can they find you on Facebook? And- on Facebook, so. I'm Suzy Lula, mm-hmm. and um, on every Monday morning, LA time, mm-hmm. anyway, I do a Facebook Live, and it's for mothers and parents. We often have men joining us as well because for both men and women, I think it's so challenging for us to give ourselves permission mm-hmm. to take care of ourselves. So this is a place where we come together and we talk about all things self-care, giving ourselves this permission and sharing stories of what's working, challenges of what isn't, and to what you were speaking of before, really assisting us. Mm-hmm. I think that we're all longing and seeking this connection. Um, and also to what you're speaking of with the peace learning yeah. is um, our connection. So we do that in community on Facebook every Monday morning, and I am very uh, active on Facebook and Twitter. So that's wonderful. Love to connect yeah. with you all. I get you that social media via Facebook for all yet me conin, your dustering connect book on in Hanme Suzy Lula, through Facebook has done her doshambe, Ishun Barnamohoy Mofidi, Barishoma live produce me conan, but me tunin, Boshun. مکالمه داشته باشین از طریق فیسبوک لایف و سوالاتتون رو در رابطه با به صلاح شیوه پرورش کودکان و یا اون بود معنوی روحانیش با ایشون صحبت بکنین کسانی مثل دکتر شفالی که با ایشون آشنا هستین ایشون به صلاح نویسنده کتابای بسیار خوب کانشس پرنتینگ و دا ویکند فامیلی ایشون خانم سوزی لولا رو اندورس کردن um, Will you please read what uh, Dr. Shefali has uh, said about your book? So, Dr. <laughs> Shefali, whom I am also such a student of her work, okay. um, says, a once-in-a-lifetime book that will free mothers from the cultural shackles of martyrdom, lack, and self-sacrifice that we have accepted for so long into abundance, value, and worth that are inherently ours to claim as mothers. Wow. Yeah. Wow. 
I know. Any one time is someone will write That's a once profound. in a lifetime. That is yes. really profound. And That's you know, you. I just listening to those words reminds mm -hmm. me of our cultural heritage. So very similar. Very I think similar. in the Middle East, um, yes. uh, I think very similar, uh, this emphasis on women, uh, this word Being, shackles. Yeah, shackles, right? Uh, Self-sacrificing. I, I mean, my, my grandmother's voice uh, is yes. still ringing in my ear, you know, her um, advice, uh, you know, this is, you're entering this um, war zone. Yes. <laughs> she used to tell yes. me her verbatim words, yes. you know, you're entering this war zone. Um, uh, دخترم وقتی که مادر میشی این از uh, سخنان مادر بزرگم هستش که uh, در گوشم هنوز صدا میکنه که وقتی که مادر میشی تو میدان جنگ رو داری وارد میشی و تا حدی هم خب این رو من تجربه دارم میکنم و صحت داره واقعا این کانسپت the warrior moms و yes. این کانسپتی که uh, we are entering war zone <laughs> این صحت داره ولی در کنارش پیام دیگه هم که به من uh, میگفت مکرر این که باید ایثار داشته باشی باید از خود گذشتگی باشته باشی باید فقط توجه تو بذاری روی این کودکان و من با اینکه قلبا و روحا این رو کاملا میفهمم چون ایشون رو دیدم و میدونم که چقدر از خود گذشتگی و چقدر از خود ایثار کردن my grandmother i i witnessed this mm -hmm. you know this is part of my um, intergenerational personal yes. experiences she had six children yes and so i saw grandma being so selfless and always focused on children and then passing that on to my mom who was very much the same yes. but somewhere along the line of this conscious parenting and becoming awakened and aware I am really interested in how we, the new generation, the yes. new moms, مدرن جوون, مدرن بسیار آگاه و شاید اون کسانی که conscious parenting رو دارن تمرین میکنن و امتحان میکنن و تجربه میکنن شخصا the conscious parents or mothers or fathers they are becoming aware that the 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 way to keep this connection, this interconnection, this inside out peace learning process is through being full and knowing that you're okay and not that you have to give and you have to disconnect and that you have to um, experience loss within that rather it's um, it's counterintuitive. It's the opposite, it's isn't it? It's counterintuitive, it's yeah. paradoxical. And I oh, always yeah. say the old paradigm is an either or mm -hmm. paradigm. Mm. And we're seeking to live in a both and paradigm. Mm. So the Beautiful. old way that our grandmothers taught mm -hmm. us, and mm -hmm. I think it mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. cross-cultural, yeah. that um, it's either you or your children. Yes. Either I focus on myself or my children. If I focus on myself, my children will lose something. Mm -hmm. My children will lack something. Mm -hmm. When we enter a paradigm of abundance, mm -hmm. that there's more than enough of everything, there is more than enough time, there is more than enough of everything that we need, for me to have myself full, mm -hmm. as you say, mm -hmm. the actually it is paradoxical, the more full I am, then I'm overflowing, mm. right? I'm overflowing with this passion for living, this vitality, this enthusiasm, this creativity, inspiration. And someone can feel it when you walk in the, the door. Yes. So it's seeking to live in a paradigm of abundance mm -hmm. rather than lack. Mm. And that is one of the reasons why I say to mothers, mothers don't want to be the first person to stand out and say that I'm gonna do this, right? So I might be hesitant to be the first mom to say, you know, I'm not gonna bring those extra cupcakes to school today. You know, no one wants to be that first mother because what you're saying about your grandmother is so true. We get accolades mm -hmm. for doing so much and giving ourselves so little. We, it used to be mm -hmm. that that's how, you know, we were acknowledged. Mm. And now what I'm saying is, even if you feel like you don't have enough time, 
But if you find the right practice, the right activity for even 10 minutes, and I'll say even five minutes, mm -hmm. you know, even watching this show, hopefully, I know for myself the, the opportunity to connect with you, yeah. a sister, like minds, mm -hmm. we have so much to do together. Yeah. I'm going to leave this mm -hmm. time so full mm -hmm. that what happens is I have left linear time. Hmm. So this hour that I spent with you is going to feed me for the rest of the day. So if hmm. someone only takes five minutes, but it's five minutes with something that truly feeds you hmm. and really nourishes you, what happens is you leave linear time and the five minutes feels like you've been there. You know, you can talk yep. to a girlfriend and you can talk for five minutes, but you feel like you've got to talk for an hour. Mm -hmm. And then when you come back into linear time, you bring this expanded state of consciousness into your linear time. So I'm seeking to connect to the infinite time and bring that back in. I don't know if that sounds too esoteric, but it's, I can tell you the way I do dishes is yeah. different whether I took those five <laughs> minutes or not, you know? That's the proof. You and and what I hear you say that every single mom, every single human being is capable of connecting to that exactly. space where you're leaving linear time and you're Exactly. Not only them. capable, I think yeah. it's what we're all longing for. Mm. And that's why I'm seeking this global connection. Yeah. Because I think that this is cross-cultural. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. that we are all longing and seeking and yearning for the same thing. Mm -hmm. So put us all together and we're unstoppable, you know? Yeah, yeah. good point. Good reminder. Um, دوستان uh, به برنامه مام تاک uh, توجه میکنین و در این برنامه مبحث uh, بحث روی uh, motherhood evolution هستش یا تکامل uh, مادرانه مادران uh, و این um, بود عرفانی روحانیش در اصل که بود مهمی هستش خانم سوزی لولا در کتابشون The Motherhood Evolution روش کار کردن مطالب بسیاری عنوان میکنن Practical Tips اگر دوست دارین این کتاب رو بخونین واقعا کتاب بسیار شیرین و خوب و دلنشینی هستش به صورتی که حتی در روز خیلی از اوقات من باز میکنم و همین چپتر یا مطالبی رو میخونم که یادآور یادآوری بکنه من رو که چگونه اون بود به صلاح سپیرچوالیتی رو همیشه همواره در رابطم با فرزندانم و در خانواده حفظ بکنم چرا که بسیار بسیار بود مهمی هستش و من فکر میکنم باید یه مقدار تکید از روی اون آموزش و پرورشی که برای صلح و در رابطه با صلح و پیس لرنینگ دوست داریم هممون انجام بدیم من فکر میکنم هیچ وقت در تاریخ <تصفيق> یک همچین نقطه پر به صلاح تنش و تنسی رو به خصوص شاید در سرزمینمون در ایران و اینجا ایرانیان و ایرانیان ایرانیانی که بیرون از مرز هستن انقدر تنشن و تنش تجربه نکرده بودن و برای همین چه اوقات مهمی هستش که اون تنش رو بتونیم از طریق معنویات و این بود عرفانی و اون کسانی که میتونن واقعا در رابطه با آوردن صلح و صلح بیشتر پیس لرنینگ یادگیری تو ام با صلح شاید پرورش و آموزش صلح در خانواده و در جامعه و در این مسیری که شاید هممون توش هستیم و um, uh, there is a yearning for peace uh, today right there is um, in my lifetime I've never felt uh, such um, intensity or urgency mm -hmm. to really be active mm -hmm. you know I, I feel like every second is a an, is an opportunity to to move more towards peace or light or whatever you want to uh, call yes. it and it is um, pivotal you know it's really uh, critical times yeah we yeah. are definitely at a tipping point yeah. right now yeah. uh, again mm -hmm. my desire mm -hmm. to come together and why I'm so grateful for our friendship and our connection and you are connected to a culture I'm connected to a culture and 
when we come together, we find out we have so much more in common and we are all yearning for the same thing, especially mm -hmm. peace right now. And mm -hmm. as you and I were speaking earlier, you know, I always say that peace is not the absence of conflict. It's really learning how to be with our own inner conflict, yeah. which is why I go back to emotional self-care. Yeah, you know? yeah. You, in our earlier conversation, you mentioned your son um, brought a beautiful lesson that you both got to engage and and read it. Can you talk about that? The lesson uh, about um, uh, about how uh, two people ha handle oh, yes, or manage. Just, yeah. yeah, you know, it was in, I was helping my son with his homework, mm -hmm. and it was in his seventh grade uh, health book mm -hmm. that the definition of mental health is two individuals having differences of opinions and still being able to stay connected. Uh, so important. I'm going to um, take a moment to translate because yes, it was very yes, profound. Yes. کلاس به صلاح پسر خانم سوزی لولا که در کلاس هفتم هستن اینجا یکی از مشقایی که اوورده بودن خونه در رابطه با به صلاح سلامت و سلامتی بدنی روح و روان health class یکی از این مشقا مربوط بود به اینکه mental health و یا بهداشت روح و روان رو بیشتر باش آشنا بشن بچه ها و ببینن که چی هستش و تعریفی که کرده بودن از بهداشت روان این بوده که برای بچه کلاس هفتم 14 ساله تعریف این بهداشت روانی بوده که بهداشت روان در بالاترین حدش یا درجه بسیار عالیش به این صورت هستش که دو فرد با عقاید متفاوت با دیدگاه های متفاوت با نظرات متفاوت بتونن در کنار هم بشینن با همدیگه صحبت بکنن رابطه داشته باشن و با هم باشن دل به دل کنکشن و ارتباط دل به دل و روح و روانی و اون بهداشت روانی در این چارچوب برای نوجوانان داره اینجا به صلاح در آموزش و پرورش بیان میشه بنابراین خیلی خیلی نکته مهمی ظریفی هستش من فکر میکنم it's such a um, uh, profound point I think for, for um, the educational system to integrate this definition at this level for the youth yes. to really grasp and understand yes. you know what, what it feels like to be in those places and I think in today's yes. um, uh, environment you know here especially in the United States of America yes. this is the best time to practice mental health everyone <laughs> yes and this is the this is the national conversation and it's the international conversation yes. right yes. now but I think I, yeah. I often think of things as spirals mm -hmm. so I think this definition is so profound and you think of something so simple so going back to a simple experience in your home today. You need your son, I'll use an example from my life. My son loves to take long showers. Mm -hmm. We need him to take not so long showers, mm -hmm. right? So there's a differing of opinion. I want him to take a short shower. He wants to take a long shower. Mm -hmm. Now, this is where self-care comes in. Depending on my bandwidth, do I have the bandwidth? Do I have the capacity to not only hold my point of view and my opinion, mm -hmm. but do I have the spaciousness mm -hmm. to allow mm -hmm. him mm -hmm. to have his point of view? Beautiful. Right? Or beautiful. am I so constricted that, that I have no space at all? Now, this is where self-care comes in. If I have taken myself and cared for myself and I'm in that space, I'm going to be a different individual. He's going to feel respected, right? Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. then you spiral that out to countries. Countries, Beautiful. right? Susie Lula for <laughs> Congress, everyone. <laughs> You have my vote, <laughs> Susie. Uh, it was I'd a like pleasure. I'd like to take that on. <laughs> it was a pleasure. Thank you, it's my an loves. honor. I love you. Go check out Susie Thank Lula's you. book. It was real. Uh, it was a blessing to have you. And uh, until next time. Until next time, we have a lot of work to do together. Yeah.